Hello, ladies and gentlemen! My name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Wargroove! Yes, we're actually going back and reviving the series. So, I played Wargroove on my channel pretty long while ago. This game, if you don't know about it, it's like a mix between Advanced Wars and, and, and Metal Gear Solid, I think. I don't remember. Um, and... <laughs> I kind of stopped playing because, uh, I don't know, it bored me a little bit. It didn't bore me, but there were a couple things that I really didn't like about it. Uh, but then, they're going to release a DLC now that contains a lot of really cool updates, and I really like it. And they seem to be taking steps to actually fix a lot of the things that I didn't like about it. So, and I said that if they ever did that, I would go back and give it another shot. So we're going to go back to the campaign, and we're going to keep playing. I am basically almost at the end of it, as far as I understand. So, uh, you know, and I've been wanting to. Yeah, I've been looking, for, paying attention to their Twitter and seeing what kind of updates they're rolling out. And I like what they're doing. So I'm going to give this game another shot. And besides, everyone keeps asking me to finish it which I will. So it's time to continue onwards. We are currently in Act 6, and we have two maps to do, or we have two guided maps. Salty Sea Dog, that's the Caesar map. Caesar maps are one of my favorite maps, so I, I, I'm probably going to be happy with that. Then we have a Fragile Blockade. Nothing stands between Sigrid and what she wants. So that's going to be like a Sigrid map. Huh, I think I want to do the Caesar mission. I do love the Caesar missions. They're always great. Grr, give us your treasure. Ha! Did you just growl at him? Shush, I'm trying to sound intimidating. Don't undermine me. Look, really, we don't have any treasure, I swear. But what about the bounty of the sea? I don't think that means buried treasure. I think it's more to do with o o oceanic ecology and healthy biodiversity, and by extension the notion of living off the land. Or waves, in this case. So, conservation and sustainable living? We... we do have a pretty well-respected turtle sanctuary. I don't care about turtle sanctuaries. Do you mean we tra 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 traipsed stole the way out here to these islands for nothing? Why did we even come here? It's a lovely climate. For heaven's sake, will you- <laughs> Woof! What now? Grrr. How, how did you find us here? Woof, 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 woof! That is the absolute final straw! Oh boy. Woof, woof! I think Caesar wants to take to the sea. That bleeding dog. I'm getting the feeling he wants us to fire cannons at outlaws. Grrr. Destroy the enemy stronghold to drive out the outlaws. Okay. Oh boy. This is a huge map. So, so the Caesar maps are usually like pre-deployed, but we actually have... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So normally every single Caesar map is like... You don't really get bases in it. But here we actually get... Uh, Merman and shit. Oh boy, do we even have, uh, I don't, it doesn't look like we have capture animations on. It's been so long since I played this game now, I gotta, like, get back into it. So, uh, is that a bar, is that, like, a transport vessel? That is a transport vessel, okay. So, we probably want, do, how many do they carry? They carry all ground units. I don't remember if they can, they can ferry more. I think they can ferry two units? So let's load Caesar on. Now, there is one annoying thing about loading your commander onto a, um, onto a barge, and that is the fact that it will not generate energy for this turn. That kind of annoys me a little bit. Alright, is that it? There should be more... It should auto-end, so that means there's a unit around here that... or maybe not. Uh, I'm confused. Do we have more units around that we haven't... Uh, I guess we don't? Alright, let's just end it then. Again, it's been like literally months since I played this game now, so I gotta actually get into it a little bit more. Okay, let's send this guy into the... Yeah, you can you can transport two units with that. So what should we go for? Um, hmm, there's a, there's a cannon ship over there. We could try to get the base, I guess. Uh, with some merman support, we should be able to do it. Now, they're going to nerf merman, actually. I don't know if this is going to affect the main campaign or not. Uh, some campaigns like to keep the units similar. So that even when updates roll out, they're, they're not going to change much, but... They're going to reduce the strength that Merman deals against buildings and also against landings, I think. They they were a little bit too strong, honestly. Let's go for a sea turtle. In fact, uh, I find the water uh, matchup in Wargroove, it's very intense because turtles have such huge movements and you have the harpoon ships, which really hard counter turtles. It's actually really tricky. Hmm. So they actually have battleships, which is not great. Yeah, this is a battleship. It's, uh... They can move and fire, I think? I'm not sure. They're pretty... Again, again, you can really tell I haven't played Wargroove for a little while. Uh, maybe we should... Hmm... 
We probably should turn on animations. I don't actually even remember how you do that. It's, yeah, there we go. Combat animation, always. There we go. So I guess we could try to attack the battleship. Nah, that's not gonna work. We could take the city, but they're probably just gonna take it back, so let's not bother. There we go, and I do believe you can also skip animations much quicker uh, with the new ones, so that's pretty good. Anyway, let's not get our merman taken out. I am tempted to go take this village, if nothing else, than just to take it back. So we just gotta make sure we stay out of range of the battleship and keep the turtle in deep, wa deep water and we should be fine. Maybe we should just get a warship of our own. They crit when they're in re- no, when they're on beaches. That's how they work. There we go. Uh, we can put the transport here, I think? Yeah, that's actually a safe zone. Now, our mermen are going to get taken out. There's very little we can do about that. And why isn't it auto-ending? Oh, it's because I have a base that I haven't used. Either that or there's some unit around here that I just haven't haven't noticed yet. Hmm. So this is just like a standard map. Yeah, your, your mermen will get one shot by turtles. That's kind of weird, honestly. Like, normally the Caesar maps are like pre-deployed maps. Um, okay, well that... That didn't last long. I gotta admit, I'm a little disappointed. I thought the Caesar map was... This is a pretty unin uninspiring map. <laughs> I don't know. It's It doesn't really feel that special. It's just a standard PvP matchup. Anyway, that turtle is within my range now. What can we do? 35, 54. Hmm. Oh, we can wreck that battleship. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. Oh, yeah. Deep, sir deep Sea Turtle Baby. Seals. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say there. <laughs> I'm at the deep sea, that's that's what I was trying to say. Uh, do we even wanna... I don't know if we wanna get in range of that thing. Like, turtles destroy battleships, and my battleships is going to be... I don't wanna lose it, so I'm actually just gonna move up here. And then I'm gonna get myself a sea turtle of my own. So... Oh, that's a treb. So yeah, you can see here, mermen are ridiculously good against land units. Almost a little bit too good. Uh, I understand why they're getting nerfed, for sure. Oh boy, we can't get both of our units off, but we can get Caesar. Oh no, we can get both of them, never mind, there's actually a shoal here. These islands are ours, grr, 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 grr. It's kinda cute. I like the dialogue in this game, it's adorable. Uh, okay, so we have this one now, uh, is there anything else? I guess we can go and, ooh, there's a base over here. Let's go get it. Can we be attacked? Yeah, we can, so we should be careful. Stay to the sea, for now. There's also a building up here we can go grab, if we want to. Oh, here we go. Here comes the battleships. This is why I'm building turtles. Mm. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. Ow. <laughs> yeah. Turtle... Actually, mermen kind of deal with turtles pretty well, if they get to attack. But yeah, there, there goes my turtle. Bye-bye. Aw, -bye. Oh, man. That sucks. Uh, that kind of sucks. We'll see how this goes. Uh, oof. This is gonna hurt. Ah, that's a one-shot. Ow. But I'm pretty sure Caesar will be able to almost one-shot. Oh, okay, that, that's a golem. Yeah, this is not going great. Um, can we, like... Okay, so let's see. Can we maybe deal with that turtle? 30 damage. That's pretty good. And Caesar can almost wreck that treb. I think maybe we should focus on just getting rid of that treb. There we go. And then I think the merman... Yeah, they can take care of that together. So that, that's taken out completely. And then we'll see what we'll do about the battleship. Can we even reach... Oh my god, he, he positioned himself right, right in the range of the turtle. What a moron. There you go. Critical hits may be one of my favorite mechanics in Wargru, honestly. It really adds so much depth to the gameplay, I really love it. Okay, so we, if that battleship moves in range of the turtle, we are fucked. So let's just keep sailing along the beach. Maybe we'll just get another turtle, honestly. Yeah, let's just get another turtle. And then I'm gonna go and get that base down there, because I want that. Actually, it's, yeah, it's a base. It's a harbor. And we like harbors. So, uh, wanna probably take care of our transport, so I'm gonna move my transport up here. Uh, I don't really... I'll probably mm, just get some pikemen, I suppose. I'm a little bit worried about Caesar, honestly. There's a golem on the way, and I don't think he can deal with that. 
Golems are like the only units that can threaten your heroes one on one. Oh boy, that's a dead merman. That is a dead merman. Ah, yeah, you're fucked. And how about this? Nah, that's fine. It's gonna get slowly whittled down though. That's oh boy, that's a dragon. We need an entire ship right now. Okay, this map is kind of hard. Okay. Uh, so now we can deal with these guys. Okay, let's make sure we don't move in range of the dragon. And we definitely need a harpoon ship now to take that guy down. Those guys are dead. And those guys are basically dead. Let's grab that harpoon ship. And we can move in with the battleships as well. I don't think battleships can attack air. Again, I gotta check. Uh, they are not effective against dragons at all. They can't target. No, they cannot target them. And dragons almost one-shot them, so there's that. But yeah, let's get some pikemen onto the main line here. There we go. There's a turtle. I don't know what we want to do with that. Um, kind of want to go grab this base, but I can't really do that on my own. That's not really going to be possible. So I think I'll just take out dog versus dog, right? So here we go. Pew pew! Away you go. They're also gonna buff dogs. I'm really happy about that, because dogs are kinda shit right now. They, I don't really, like, I haven't played multiplayer in a while, but I don't imagine the metagame has changed a lot. I think I still think it's like Pikeman spam. Um, and nobody really builds dogs. I mean, the thing is, the reason why dogs aren't effective is because they're really good in Fog of War. They can see true forests in Fog of War, which is really nice. But, uh, no one plays Fog of War, because the, the quick, ma quick matches don't have Fog of War enabled. So that's a bit dumb. Um, anyway, let's move you down here. And let's grab another merfolk so we can start capping some more buildings. And then we can... Nope! Fuck. That's okay. I can load them on next turn. It's no problem. Yeah, that golem is trouble, honestly. That golem is trouble. Uh, I don't know if Caesar can defeat him. Maybe if I move into the mountains. But then... No, that's, that's okay. I'll just move into the mountains. At least I'll get some defense that way. And then maybe we can go and reinforce. There we go, he's on full health now. Don't really want my turtle to be taken down. God, they're so fast, holy shit. So, if the if my turtle moves over here, then my battleship can move over here. And I should be out of range of the dragon. The, actually, there is one thing that really scares me right now. The dragon might go for Caesar. Maybe I should have just let it go for a turtle, just to prevent that. Oh, oh, I forgot about that guy. Oh, well, he's dead. Oh, yeah, he's going for Caesar. That's not good. Now, your commander... Oh, boy. This is actually really bad. Um, your commander actually regens health every turn. And I have a power now, but the power doesn't really work on Caesar. Oh, boy. Um, this is terrifying, actually. I think this might kill me. Maybe the transport ship can make it there in time to get him out, but I don't think so. Oh boy. Okay, he's gonna go for Caesar. There's very little I can do about that. I might have just fucked up. We'll see. Anyway, please take him out. Boof. I mean, at least I can do this to prevent Caesar from... Oh, actually, oh, I can use my power, but there's no point in using my power. I'm just gonna have to pray I'll be fine here, but I can uh, maybe I can use my power next turn just to see. Like I, if I if I can line up, uh, maybe I can make my battleship attack twice at the very least. So I think I should be fine here, honestly. I think I should be fine, and I can get Caesar onto the boat next turn, so I might be fine. We'll see. We will see. I need to do something about that harpy, or else I'm gonna lose a lot of my buildings. Okay, here we go. Dragon versus uh, commander. That's gonna be around 40% health, I think. Oh, okay. Thought it was going to be more. Um, and here's the golem. The golem will start doing damage once it's on low health, but a full H H HP golem is still going to hurt. Okay. We're actually fine. This is going to do, like, no damage, because the ballistas are anti-air weapons. But still, we, we have to get Caesar on a boat now, and pretty fucking fast. Luckily... We can probably yeah, almost shoot down this dragon. Pew! 
So the question is, can we keep... No, that's a knight. So that's gonna fuck us over if we try something. Um, probably want to do damage to the knights. I don't know. What is scary here for the boat? So Caesar can go like this. So we want to drop off the pikemen on each side. We don't want to block Caesar's escape here. Yeah, I'm gonna load onto the boat and... There's a battleship and a ballista, but the ba the ballista, knight, the knight can't attack the boat, and the dragon shouldn't be able to do that. Can I get onto a beach somehow? I cannot. That's sad. That would have made my battleship crit. Hey ho! And so I guess I'll just protect myself. I don't know if there's anything. Um, can move my turtles down. I don't remember if turtles can attack buildings. I don't think they can. It would have been nice if they could. There we go. Let's move the, the harpoon ship in. And let's just keep... Actually, let's move in here. We need more units over here. And including more merfolk if we can. That harpy is going to start raiding our villages. Not really a whole lot we can do about that at the moment. So let's just keep going. Oh, here we go. Golem versus pikemen. This might be a one-shot, because we're on beach. Yeah, beaches increase your def or increases your damage taken by 10%. So, this is not gonna hurt that bad. But, um... Hmm, yeah, this is scary. <laughs> but it's fine, the transport ship won't get one-shot. I think normally dragons can one-shot transports. I don't remember if harpies win against villages, one 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 I don't think they do, because the village restores health. So, I think we're fine here. Yeah, this is fine. This is not particularly dangerous. We'll be able to shoot down the dragon now. Bye. And we'll just get Caesar out of there, I think. Just get him healed up. Probably a good idea. And we can get our battleship onto a beach, which will make it crit. And see the damage this thing deals when it's on a beach. It's fucking crazy. It kills so quickly. I love it. And then we can send the turtle over here. Uh, we don't want to go in range of the other turtle, nor do we want to be in range of the treb. And honestly, we can just start massacring these guys right now. We have the pikeman who can help out here. Dead he is. And then, honestly, it wouldn't be so bad to start attacking this base, but I kind of want to get these properties right here. Also, I'm going to get myself another harpoon ship to counter the harpy. This is really a, like a naval base map, but I like it. Now, I, I do not think harpies win against villagers one-on-one. -on -one. I think they just lose out. If I remember correctly, you cannot take a village with a harpy. Okay, that guy's dead. And unsure if this is going to do any damage at all. Oh, wow! Looks like ballistas actually do... Okay, not good, but like half decently. Okay, you just went on to deep water. That's a big mistake. Um, but we also have a harpoon ship here. But that is sadly not in range. But it's actually it's it's not good against merfolk at all. It's pretty shit against merfolk. Mm, is it safe to just get Caesar back on here? He's on 39 health. I don't know. Let's just heal him up. Let's get a um. Hmm. Do we want a golem, maybe? Or maybe a uh, maybe an alchemist to heal up. Uh, two, 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 two. We need something that can capture buildings. So let's just get a pikeman. Whenever in doubt, just go pikeman. That's that's pretty much the war group meta in a nutshell right now. There we go. That's one's mine. So you can turtles can move over bridges, but they're not super good at it. Oh, he built a witch. I don't wonder why he built a witch. That's kind of weird. Anyway, let's just get rid of this turtle. Boof. And we gotta get rid of this merman too. Or else our ship is not gonna last very long. Yeah, this bridge is kind of fucking me over. There's not a lot I can do about it, honestly. Let's just move back. There we go. Let's get another warship. Perfect. Alright, let's see what he does now. Oh, he's building a turtle. And oh shit, forgot about that fucking uh fucking harp or fucking ballista. And yeah, pretty sure he's not going to win this engagement. Nope, he is definitely not. Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad. 
My battleship! I gotta send that thing back to get healed now. Okay, so now he's going in. The AI has this funny thing where it will really start committing to a move. And it will, like, charge in with everything it has. Which I think is honestly pretty good AI design. Anyway, down you go. And what else do we have here? We have... we can absolutely demolish this guy. Poof! Of course, we're not really doing great in taking the island, but that's fine. Oh, did he move his... oh my god, he's... what a moron. He moved his battleship in range of my turtle. Okay, well, I'm, I will happily take that battleship. And you are gone. Actually, you are not. I should have seen that. There we go. So not that witch and that harpy. Send down the battleship as well. And we have 200. Let's just get ourselves Merfolk. I think they're also going to increase the price of the Merfolk. Which is honestly needed. So I'm not too sad about that. Okay, you move here. Can we do anything here? Probably not. Uh, honestly, there is that property that we should probably just go get. Because it's been neutral for the whole game. So, also the enemy... Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oof. Oof, I hate traps. I also hate people in multiplayer who build traps. They're so fucking annoying. <laughs> people are just like build trap after trap. I think I still think traps are a pretty shit unit, honestly, in multiplayer matches. Mm. Kinda depends on the map, but I find them pretty bad overall. Oh no. My turtles! Okay, what are, I don't know what that witch thinks he's doing, or she, or whatever it is. Uh, 90 damage. That's pretty good. Let's just get rid of this one. Pew, 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 pew! I love the way the merfolk look in this game. They're so fucking cute. And... Goodbye, witch. I don't really know why I care about killing a witch, but... I don't really have any air units. But, I don't know. I, I don't like them floating around. They are annoying. There we go. Caesar's all healed up. I haven't really used my power at all. <laughs> pretty, pretty, un, pretty un ineffective use of a power. Alright, let's get this knight out of the way. We can probably also just blast the base, so reinforcements stop. I probably should have done that some time ago. Honestly. Turtle, go back and heal. Maybe the merfolk too. Or I could... Hmm. So they, they strike when they're in C. Uh, we could just go... I kind of want to just... I know this is probably going to kill my merfolk, but I just want to make sure that battleship doesn't go back and repair itself. Because it's annoying and I don't want to deal with it. Alright, what do they do now? So, yeah, I figured those merfolk would be destroyed, but that's fine. These turtles are gonna struggle a little bit. Oh, they're shooting at- oh no! <laughs> no, my harbor! <laughs> this is the problem with reinforcing. It leaves your- it leaves your harbors very vulnerable. Oh, there's another dragon. That is a problem. Can I take it out? Ooh, I cannot. Um, I can definitely not take it out. Okay, let's go and do that. Hmm. Alright then, let's get another harpoon ship out, if that's how it's gonna be. And let me also go and grab this uh, village right here. Yeah, this is not a map that you can defeat super quickly, I think. I don't know, maybe the problem, maybe the trouble, maybe the issue here is that I'm, I'm... I haven't taken out this base yet, and I really should. I think, honestly, that's probably what's punishing me right now. Alright, I think I can go onto the beach and attack the trap. I can! Oh boy, I love battleships, they're great. Pew pew pew! And down it goes. That is gonna hurt. And then I can take out this guy because I'm in the deep sea. Oof. And honestly, like, there's not a lot for my harpoon ships to attack from here. I might as well just move them over to the dragon. And let's go reinforce my turtle. And yeah, I'm sending some infantry over here, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm pretty confident about this now. Looks good. Ooh. Oh yeah, dragons are pretty good against cities. They're, they'll take them out pretty darn quickly. I don't remember how turtles do against harpoon ships one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, pretty good, actually. Yeah, they do pretty well. I don't, I've never seen this battle before. Will I shoot back? No, I will not. Okay. Interesting. And, of course, he takes the base back, but that's fine. I can just shoot it down again. 
Although I have to spend a bottle ship doing it, which is a bit annoying. But now I have Caesar back. And I have my power ready, so it's a bit annoying that I'm not able to use my power on like actual good units. I'll be able to use it on a battleship though, that's a pretty good unit. Anyway, let me get that. Bonk. And I think we'll just reinforce with this. I might might be over responding a little bit to this trend, honestly. I have like a million harpoon ships, but he does have a lot of air units over here, and I, I do want to get rid of them. Um how do battleships do against rangers? Pretty fucking well. Yeah, those guys are basically neutralized. Uh, not really much here for these turtles to do, so I guess I'm just gonna go back and reinforce. There we go. And who should the battleship attack? Should I take out one of his infantry, or should I just keep... I think I'm just gonna keep shooting on this, so no, no other units can come out, because... I leave that thing alive, and a, a new unit will spawn in the next turn. So that's basically like sh killing a unit, I'd say. Uh, let's get some more Merfolk up, because I can't afford a warship, which is really what I want right now. No. So the AI will always go for your commander, which is honestly... something you can exploit pretty well. I really think that's something you can take advantage of. Because, uh, going for your commander, I mean, really, like, it's kind of shit, honestly. You don't you don't want to go for the commander unless you can kill the commander. Going for the commander and not killing the commander is, is pretty bad. Yeah, let's get that one down. So, I go, oh, I can't reach. Hmm. I cannot reach. So, I guess the best thing to do here now... I don't even know if I want to use my power, if I'm going to be completely honest. Actually, I kind of do. So, Caesar's power is a power that I thought would be a lot more overpowered than I than it actually was. And don't get me wrong, like, it, 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 it certainly is a power that has a lot of use, but really situational. <laughs> That's at least how I feel about it. It's a really situational power. And having four units move again, it's not as OP as you might think. Maybe I'm all wrong, maybe the, like there's a super big meta going on around it at the moment, but... I've never really been able to use it to great effect in any multiplayer games that I've played. There are better powers in Wargroove, for sure. There we go, that dragon might go for my harpoon ship, but that's gonna put him into range of other people, so I'm honestly not sad about that. Let's go heal up the warship. One thing I do love in Wargroove is how easy it is to repair your units. It's not a hassle at all. As long as you have a village, you're able to do it, and I honestly think that's great. Uh, let's just get more Merfolk in here. Probably want to go and take back that village at some point, and then we can start raiding his other villages. Oh, that's not good. I don't know if a dragon wins against an HQ, but it looks like it might. So... Uh... I don't actually remember. I thought they didn't. That's actually kind of scary. But, no, actually, it's not. Phew! Now that dragon is completely harmless. That scared me for a little bit. But, not really anymore. Harpoon ships... One one issue I have with harpoon ships, like... I feel like they really took the, um, the grievances of naval units, naval versus air, seriously in Advanced Wars. Um, and they were like, holy shit, we really gotta make... We gotta do a great counter to air units. And they did, and... As a result, I feel like, I mean, in many of the games that I played with um, uh, harpoon ships, I feel like they completely shut down any semblance of air uh, offense. Like, it's not even funny. Like, it's, you can't do shit. Anyway, let's uh, capture this. They're just going to take it back. But meanwhile, I can generate free groove. And I'll slowly take them out one by one. Oh wait, did I fuck me up? No, I can still build a warship. That's good. So that's what I wanted. I wanted more warships. Uh, so I have my pikemen here. Should I... I think I'm just gonna attack. Prevent him from taking this back. And this turtle doesn't really have much to do. There's a harpoon ship over here. I guess I'll just keep it around, I guess. Yeah, the dragon isn't gonna be able to do shit anymore. We are completely fine. Oh no, he's gonna die. <laughs> or close to. Hey, stop being such a little idiot, Jesus Christ. 
Okay, finally, we'll get to actually build something out of our base. Probably go for a golem or something. No, we can't afford that. Uh, let's just go for a knight. Actually, this, the, the space is too cramped. Let's just go for another pikeman. If we go for a pikeman here... Okay, we're not going to be able to line it up with a pikeman crit, but... We should probably move a battleship over here. We can take out... We can start raiding his cities, even though we're not able to take them. Or actually, we might be able to take them. Um, I wish I had more beaches. I don't think this counts as a beach. Pretty sure it doesn't. Uh, I kind of want to take out this... Uh, hmm. Actually, no, I can go onto this bitch. Yeah! I would have killed him regardless, but it's still nice, I think. Alright, now this one's mine. And I'm just going to move my harpoon ships down as well. I think one of the reasons why mermen are pretty OP is because they can take out cities without taking damage back. And that's sort of what makes them really good. So I know he's going to shoot on my turtle, but I think I'm going to win that exchange regardless. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to crit this village. And then I want to be a little bit careful with Caesar here, because there is a warship here, so... We don't want to... I think I'm just going to reinforce him, honestly. Just play it safe. It would really suck to lose a unit now. There we go. Send the warship down. Harpoon ships are really slow. That's like my big grievance with them. Wait, didn't the village fire back? Why is the dragon still alive? That's weird. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this guy. Just keep my guys at full health so that they're good. And might as well reinforce up our transport in case we need it for something else. It's not like we're gonna be able to do it fully anyway. Uh, oh, oh, shit, this is a crit. So alchemists crit whenever they have four defense or more. So they crit, no, three, I think. So forest and mount, yeah, this is scary. Is this another pikeman crit? Oh, also, uh, one of the new updates is that a small animation will be displayed whenever whenever, uh, whenever a unit crit. So you'll see a small, like, critical animation play, which, honestly, is something I really wanted. Because crits are cool, but I wish they were a little bit more visible. So I'm very happy to see that. Oh boy, knights versus pikemen. They're also, I think, nerving, nerfing the overall strength of pikemen and increasing their price, which is honestly super good. Dragon's still floating around. Come on, shoot it. There you go. Go away. No one likes you. wonder if people are still rushing dragons in multiplayer. That was so dumb. That happened so much at the start. People just rushing dragons, rushing dragons, rushing dragons. Okay. Um, I'm basically skipping most of the animations anyway, so I'm just going to go that, like so. Uh, so we gotta be very careful with Caesar right here. If he, if he were to die now, I'd be very sad. There we go. Can we... I don't think we can line up a pikeman crit. Doesn't seem very likely. We can line up, like, a little pikeman crit if we do this. No, that won't work. Uh, we can do this. It's gonna kill him, but we can kill the knight, so that's fine. Do we have enough money for a golem? We do not. So let's just go for another pikeman. <laughs> Again, whenever in doubt, pikeman. But, uh, we do have the ability to crit here with our battle. Our battleships are insane right now, so. We just gotta make sure we have our poon ships to keep them covered. God, I wish these weren't so fucking slow. Uh, let's move the battleship down and start attacking the villages, and then we can start taking them for ourselves. Cucking your opponent's income is a, is a, is a surefire way to win the match. There we go. And what do we want? I, honestly, I'm gonna go for a merfolk. I'm gonna stay up for a golem. I really want myself a golem. I don't think sea units can end their turn on, um, on on bridges. I know they can float above bridges or over bridges, but I don't think you can cock a bridge with a sea unit. Which I think is okay. Um, oh, boy, there goes my base. Oh, harpies. Shit. Ay, ay, ay. Oof. Okay. I gotta hand it to, to the AI of Wargroove. It fights back pretty well. Oh god, I would have loved some sort of AoE power right now. Alright, let's do this. Capture. And I'm very, very careful here, because he definitely has more than enough firepower to wipe me out. Oh, I should have... Oh, I'm such a dumbass. I should have gone for the Harpy. Why the fuck didn't I go for the Harpy? Oh my god. 
Such a fucking dumb dumb. Alright, go to the reefs, I guess. Take out that golem. Can we? Oh, they're cocking the bridge, so I can't really do shit here. But I can take out the battleship, and that's honestly all we want. So, are there any air units here in this vicinity? No. So we can just send all our harpoon ships over here. We can also start taking out all these villages. He does have an air unit over here, or an air, or like a tower, so he can build air units. Um, let's get rid of that. There we go, no harpoons for you. So what are we gonna do with this turtle right here? I don't really know. I don't wanna, I really don't wanna reinforce right now. Uh, but I also don't wanna move Caesar ahead, because there's so many units over here and I'm worried, so. I am honestly... I'm gonna try to move here and just reinforce, not attack. We'll see how it goes. This village is almost dead now. Alright, come on harpoon ships. So I'll build another merfolk and I'll fetch some pikemen, some more pikemen with my transport. One thing I do love about transports in Wargroove is how insanely fast they are. They definitely feel a lot better than they did in the war schemes. I don't know what to do with this guy now. I really don't. I'll just reinforce. There we go. What is coming our way now? Turtle. Oh, there goes our battleship. And there goes our other battleship. <laughs> oh boy, the AI is fighting back pretty hard. Okay, a lot of things attacking Caesar right now, but most of it is trash, so I'm not really taking damage. So that's kind of nice, honestly. Um, but I should not be complacent. I'm pretty okay with reinforcing Caesar here. And let's get a golem into play. We need some land power. Let's shoot down this fucking harpy. Fuck you. Same thing with this turtle. Go to fucking hell. And same thing with this thing. We can crit him from a reef, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. No, definitely not. This turtle definitely will not uh, do anything about this harpoon ship right here. We need more warships, honestly. We really need more warships. So, that's ex Ah, we can't afford any warships. We can't even afford merfolk. That's sad. But, we are slowly taking down their cities, and we have a battleship here that's completely fucking them over. We can move down to this beach right here. Cock this merman. Yeah. It's pushing back pretty hard, but we are definitely winning the land war here. And we can transport more pikemen to the shores. Pretty soon. There's a lot of units there, but none of them really have the firepower to take down Caesar. And I know they're all gonna focus him too. So let's see how it goes. Another turtle just entered the fray. There we go. Caesar has his power now, so maybe... I'll see if we can use that to some extent. We can maybe make the golem... The problem I have with Caesar power is that unless you get exactly four units to attack, it's not... it's kind of hard to get some value out of it. Here I'm gonna get two units to attack again. But honestly, it's, sometimes it's just more tempting to attack with Caesar. But right here, it's definitely more worthwhile to do this, I think. Capture here. Get rid of him. It's not the best golem kill ever, but I'll take it, I guess. And who can we attack here? This turtle. You can't join or combine units in Wargroove. That's the thing I really miss from, from Advanced Wars. Also, I have way too many fucking harpoon ships. I really miss that. I really do. Being able to join two units together was such a chill way of restoring their HP. Alright, down goes that village. I can capture that on the next turn. I'm kind of surprised he hasn't built any air units. I, I I don't know how well the AI responds to whatever threats you send on it. I really don't. Uh, but right now I feel like getting a uh, pikeman. Uh, actually, no. You know what? Let's go for a wagon. Let's get Caesar down there faster. There we go, and that turtle can't, oh, that turtle, eh, I don't think that turtle can do much, honestly, let's just, I don't mind if he attacks my harpoon ship, I got so many fucking harpoon ships at this rate, it doesn't matter. Oh, there comes a the harpy, another merman, turtle's going back, oh, the turtle's going for my battleship, that's what's happening here. So, we gotta keep, we gotta keep one of our harpoon ships in range of our battleship so we don't lose it. I can actually... 
Oh, there's a Harpy there too. I can actually just completely eliminate this base, and I will. But yeah, now my battleship kind of lacks coverage, which is a bit annoying. I don't even know if I need to unload the pikemen. I can unload the pikemen over here. There we go. We can start taking that air tower. And what are we going to do here with Caesar? We can take down the knights. Get some free charge of that. Reinforce our boat. We can actually attack the merman. Only once, though. Let's get the turtle in. Is there any way we can get rid of... Nah, we have to use a golem to kill this alchemist. It's kind of annoying, but... It's the only way I can really see us doing it. Um, this I've been kind of just ignoring this thing for a while. There we go. Now we have the strongest unit in the game. Wagons, wagon Kun. Wagon Kun will dominate the waves. Alright, I think we're done. Now, of course, the, the Harpy is going to attack my battleship, but Harpies don't do super... Oh, never mind. They re oh, oh my god, I just let him attack me from a mountain. I'm such a moron. Oh my god, I just let him crit me from a mountain. How the fuck can you be this dumb? Oh, shit, how can you be this dumb? Jesus Christ, man. Right, I'm gonna just do this. At least I got the base, so I'm kind of happy about that. So, mermen are not particularly adept at attacking from land, so you gotta be a bit cautious about that. If they were, they'd be completely broken. Uh, go up here. Get rid of this harpoon ship. What really pisses me off about harpoon ships is how they, they require, they need to be in reefs to crit, but they can't move on the goddamn reefs. Which is really fucking annoying. Because the reefs has such a high movement cost, you can you might as well just forget about it. Alright. I love wagons! They're so fucking sexy. Let's get a knight. There we go. I like knights. Knights are fun to use in multiplayer matches. They're really underappreciated, I think. And there we go. Let's see what he does now. I wonder what he'll he'll probably keep attacking the battleship with the harpy, most likely. We'll see what happens. Oof. Yeah, that crit really fucking hurt. Ooh, but now I can build something. What shall I build? Ooh, I can kill it now. Sweet. Bye. So, can I kill the turtle? No. I definitely cannot kill the turtle. That's not really gonna work out. Let's just build a turtle of our own. But uh, we can go back and we can heal for a little bit. So, now he can't attack me anymore. Um, let's just get rid of this. Oh, Caesar's on two health. I should be careful. I should be very, very, very careful. I have two golems, though. So they're going to clear the way here pretty easily. There we go. I think I'm just going to go back and reinforce. Just be safe, you know. Better safe than sorry. I've lost a couple- I lost too many matches, man, to just having my commander kill. Me and Ponsa have had a discussion about it earlier, like, whether or not we like it as a good mechanic or not. And I think that it's- it certainly speeds up the matches a lot, but I'm not sure if I really like it. Oh boy, that merman is going to get absolutely fucking murdered. Let's get another warship into the fray. I think that's everything we can do right now. Certainly makes the matches more interesting, though, I'll give it that. Okay. Oh, there goes my village. Ooh. Ooh. Careful, the Caesar. Careful. Jesus Christ. Oh, we can get a crit. It's not gonna do much though, but I don't know. I'm happy every time the harpoon ship can crit. You gotta stand next to the reef to be able to go on there. It's so dumb. There we go. Let's just start smashing some villages. Boof. Boof. Can't capture villages with dogs, sadly. It's not even my dog, so that makes sense. Oh, cool, we can destroy the base. Again, one of the things I like a lot about Wargroove, as opposed to Advanced Wars, is that you can attack base. That is that is really, like, I think, one of the best additions that Wargroove had. 
Uh, being able to attack enemy bases to shut them down was a thing that Advanced Wars really needed. I think at the very least in Advanced Wars, when you occupy a uh, a base, you should block its income. That's I always thought that that was, you know, it sounded proper to me at the very least. Okay, where do we want these pikemen? Probably over here. And I'm guessing just more warships. We could also save up, honestly. I'm not sure if we're going to retain that base. The knight might take it back, but also I should get this one. Is that the one? Oh, he's going for the city. That's interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Um, hmm, hmm. Let's just move over here. Okay, so now we can start taking out the doggos. That's a one-shot. Uh, the golems can probably just charge into base. Just be the shock troops. Capture that. And we can just capture this one right back. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, the warship definitely needs some repairs though, very soon. I don't think we need to repair here. And honestly, I can just keep taking these back and get myself an ember wing. Yep, there we go. I have an ember wing now. Logic dictates I can't lose now, because dragons are, are OP. Actually, they're not. They're kind of bad. They're like bombers in the monsters. They have absolutely no staying power. Dare I say, they're a little bit of a, what you would call a pitfall. Okay, let's get the warship in. So one of the annoying things about not fighting an enemy commander is that the battles kind of drag out. Like, I won. It's obvious I won. Like, this, there's no way the enemy is going to come back from this one. And I will win in a couple of turns once the, once the golems charge in. But if they had an enemy commander that I could have sniped, then... This definitely could have ended a lot sooner. And I'm also getting a warship, so I can definitely go get that faster now. We have an Ember Wing coming in, although that Ballista is zoning us out a little bit. But this warship is just going to kill the knights. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to win next turn regardless. I'm curious about my ranking for this one, because I think I felt, I felt like I took, took quite a while with this one. Man, Harpoon ships versus Harpoon ships. Truly the most exciting matchup. I feel like I didn't use my CO at all this mission. He was just kind of there in the background. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I put my knight there, he'll crit the base next turn. Hell, I can even wagon it up here. Just to be extra fancy. I gotta say, doing wagon strats makes you feel really good in this game. It's one of my favorite things to do. And now we can take out their base. Actually, no, we didn't take out their base. But I am pretty sure that regardless of what happens next turn, we're going to smash the HQ. Because now we have a warship that can shoot. Like so. And then we have the golem. Yeah. Now that is definitely going to be a GG. So, but before we do that, I don't know. I think killing units is what grants you uh, extra ranking. Not building units of your own. So that's pointless. So there's, I don't think there's really much anything we can do right here. Now, I'm just going to smash it. Boof. There we go. Ah, woo! Arf! Our practical operation has gone bust! Hooray! Thanks for all your help, Mr. Dog. Arf! Let's find you a treat. We're not very good at this. Not very good at what? At this! At this, being outlaws! We're not so bad. No, he's right. We're rubbish. But... Think about it, every time we get set up, that dog comes along and ruins everything. Traditionally, that's not the sort of thing that happens in a well-oiled, steam-lined enterprise. We went into this to make gold, but we're hemorrhaging funds. Never mind funds, I'm black and blue all over. I'm tired of getting beaten up by a dog. But think of the good times. The freedom. We make our own hours. We take time off at the drop of a hat. Greg, you're kidding yourself. I just want to do something I'm good at again. I think I'm going to go back into accounting. You should, Neil. You were a great accountant. I'm going to open the haberdashery back up. Congratulations! It's tough to admit when you made poor choices. <laughs> but embracing that fact and deciding to try something else, that's very brave. It's commendable. I agree, Neil. Congratulations to you two. I'm very proud of the both of us. Now, we need to find a boat home. <laughs> the port's this way. You coming? Paul, can I come and work at the haberdashery? Of course you can. 
Can I be general manager? No, Greg, no you can't. Come on, let's get going. Aw, it's a happy ending. And it's a B rank. Well, it's to be expected. Alright guys, hope you guys are enjoying the revival of this Wargroove series. When we come back, we shall uh, take on the Sigri uh, Gaiden. That's always fun. So yeah, if you enjoy Wargroove, like, comment, and, and do the things that we do on the YouTubes. Bye.